Hi there! I'm Cher Pendarvis, author of the Painter Wow books and the Artist Tablet books. Today I'd like to give you a tour of the Creative Painter workspace for Photoshop users. This workspace features custom palettes with some of Painter's most realistic brushes and tools. First we'll begin with a quick overview of Painter's interface and panels. At the very top you'll see the brush selector and I'm just going to click right here to change my brush. Uh, click this little button here and you see the recent brushes list here and the Painter X3 brushes library. Just to the right of the brush selector you see the context sensitive property bar and to the right of it you see the brush search which is new in X3. With the brush, brush search you can type one or a combination of brush names or attributes to perform a search. Here we have the toolbox and we have the media selector. If we look on the far right we have the navigator panel, we have the, the cluster of color panels, the color panel, the mixer, and the color set libraries. We have the layers panel and the channels panel. To the left of the navigator we have the clone source panel which is useful for artists of all styles, from illustrators who want to clone from an earlier version of their image, to photographers who want to use a photo on which to base a painting. Directly below the clone source panel we have the collection of photo painting panels, the underpainting panel, auto painting panel, and restoration panel. To the left of the clone source panel we have the reference image panel. with You can open an image to look out for reference. You can sample color from it. You can zoom in and you can also pan around the image with the grabber hand. And this is one of my favorite features in X3 as is the brush search. At the bottom of our screen right here there are the three custom palettes that I've made showcasing some of Painter's most luscious default brushes. The dry media palette, the painting brushes palette, and the real watercolor palette. I want to say a few words about this painting. Long period wave, it was created with some of the painting brushes that are in the, the palette right here, the real oil short, real round, real fan short, dry bristle, and round blender bristle. Now I'd like to try out some of the brushes so we're going to click right here on this blank document. Accidentally created a watercolor layer. I'm going to get rid of it. Here we go. And demonstrate some of the brushes. We're going to switch the palette layout. You see there's two palette layouts here. The Photoshop user layout we were just looking at and the shares default layout which we're going to switch to. This one gives us more screen real estate and it's more of the palette layout that I use for my daily work in Corel Painter. First we're going to try out the square grainy pastel. See the beautiful paper grain that it picks up. The chunky oil pastel which is a little bit softer. Then we're going to try one of my very favorites, the Real 6B Soft Pencil. Now if I hold my stylus upright I can make a very thin little line and if I hold my stylus on the side I can shade just like with a traditional pencil and then the flat grainy stump which allows us to blend. Directly below we have the painting brushes, some of my favorites, the Real Oil Short, the Real Fan Short, Real Clumpy Broad, and then the Round Blender Bristle which allows us to blend paint. Directly below is the Real Watercolor Palette. Now when I click on the screen on my canvas a watercolor layer is automatically generated. Real wet flow map, very luscious wet paint, real wet jitter sponge, and the wet eraser which allows us just to erase wet paint.
Now, I hope you enjoyed this tour of the Painter Workspace. Happy painting! Thank you.